Final Fantasy 16 is the latest game in Square Enix's long-running RPG series. Released in 2023 on the PlayStation 5, it's a game built for modern consoles on a brand new engine. But how well does that translate to the PC? Starting off with VRAM usage, and you're going to want at least an 8GB card to play this game. At 900p lowest quality settings, it's still using a little over 9GB, and scaled up to 4K, that goes up to almost 12GB. Perhaps more interesting is increasing the settings to ultra quality doesn't really increase the VRAM usage that much, with it requesting about 10GB at 900p, and about 12.5GB at 4K. If you are looking to use frame generation, you are going to need a pretty beefy card, since it does benefit from having 14GB of VRAM. That being said, on cards with only 8GB of VRAM, you're more likely to be limited by memory bandwidth than the total VRAM amount, at least at the performance levels those cards provide. And speaking of performance, at 1080p ultra quality settings, you'll need an RTX 3060 if you're looking for a console-like 30fps experience. This can also be achieved with an AMD RX 6600 and an ARC A750. If you are looking for a 60fps experience, you are going to need considerably more power with the AMD RX 6800 or NVIDIA RTX 3080, both up to the task. If you're looking to game at over 100fps though, you are going to need an NVIDIA card with the RTX 4090 leading the pack at 119fps and an RTX 4080, still good for 101 FPS. The jump to 1440p is considerably demanding, with now all the cards that can achieve 60 FPS fitting on one screen. With its larger 384-bit memory bus, the RX 7900 XTX leapfrogs the RTX 4080 lineup, delivering 73.8 FPS, while the RTX 4070 Ti holds the line at a flat 60 FPS. That does leave a slew of cards able to perform at 30 FPS, with the minimum being held in by the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 4060 Ti in both variations. That does leave several cards below the 30 FPS line, but that's nothing compared to what happens at 4K. That's when the cards with only 8GB of VRAM and slower memory buses really take a performance hit. This is best shown with the RX 7600, which is now slower than the RTX 3050, and quite a bit slower than the RX 7600 XT, which it's been tied with in all the other tests. Notably, this doesn't seem to affect Nvidia on the same level as it does AMD. The RTX 3060 Ti, for example, does claw back some performance from the RTX 4060 Ti, thanks to the newer card's smaller memory bandwidth, but we're only talking about a few frames here. For a 30 FPS experience, you are going to need an RX 7900 GRE or an RTX 3080. But if you are looking for 60 FPS without frame generation, you are going to need to wait for a future generation of graphics card. 